I've said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't take a senior skip day, you could miss it. I can't believe you skipped without me. You're gonna have to text me and tell me everything that I missed. Whenever they skip, we can't get anything done. If the students don't show up, why should I? It's a waste of my time. We need to start Pagobi and tax on all the students that skip. A, you can never go too far. And B, if I'm gonna get caught, it's not gonna be by a girl like that. It's a little childish and stupid, but then again, so is high school. This is the graph of the negative externalities of senior skip days. The marginal social benefit is downward sloping, and the marginal private cost is upward sloping because with each additional senior skip day Nick participates in, his grades fall because he doesn't understand what is happening in class. With each additional senior skip day, the teachers can't teach as much with multiple students missing and with the students who didn't skip being distracted by those who did. When the students do come to school, the teachers and the other students have to spend their time reviewing the subjects those who had skipped missed, causing the entire class to be even more behind schedule. This is represented by the upward sloping marginal social cost. If the school institutes a Pagovian tax on students who participate in senior skip days by requiring them to pay the school for each day skipped through money or detention, seniors will be discouraged from skipping. The amount of senior skip days will then reduce to the socially optimal level and the marginal private cost will match the marginal social cost, internalizing the externality and eliminating the deadweight loss. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go study.